Hey all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, and today we're gonna to do something I haven't done in a few videos. It's a full packer brisket. This happens to be a full prime brisket from Costco, about 14 pounds. I'm gonna go ahead and trim it up, and I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back here. All right, I'm gonna get started on this, and this is gonna be something that we're going to cook this for about 36 hours at 155 and then when we take it out of the sous vide bath we're going to go ahead and throw it chill it down throw it in the uh, fridge overnight and then on thursday we're going to cold smoke it not really cold smoke it we're going to smoke it on low on our camp chef for a while to get some smoke and then we're going to bring it back up to the temperature that we sous vide it at 155 so and it should give us a good two to three hours on the smoke that way. But first, I'm going to go ahead and trim this up. Um, I don't know if you've, if you've ever done a full pack of brisket before. There is a lot of fat on here, um, especially on the prime. They're well marbled. One of the things you really got to get rid of is this big piece of deckle fat. It's really hard fat that won't render much. So um, it kind of goes in between the flat and the point section so you really need to kind of dig in and get that part out as much as you can try not to take any of the meat with it but um, just uh, that's one of the things on this back section also to kind of trim it up around the edges here any of this thick hard fat will not render much and it's not going to help it by keeping it on there it's just going to be something you're going to have to cut off when you go to eat it later on anyway so you really want to get as much as that thick fat out as possible and this kind of goes down into a well kind of deep in between the muscle so you just kind of want to get your knife down in there like i said just kind of cut that out try not to get any of the meat you know if you get a little bit that's all right but just get as much of that big thick hunk of fat out as you can if you leave a little bit in, that's okay. But now the back side is where a lot more of this uh, fat is. I kind of you just want to clean this up here. Um, gets kind of rough from when they process it at the uh, processing plant. It's so like this one here. You can kind of see it's not really even. But you got a big thick on, piece on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that off. You can leave about a quarter inch on the flat section on the back. All the way around will be fine. But any really big thick hunks, they're not going to render much. So you just want to pull them off. And you will have more fat on a prime brisket compared to a choice or a select or a no roll. Um, but that means there's more fat marbled into the meat itself so you might have just a little bit more waste than you would on a choice but your meat overall is going to be a lot more tender so that's all guys i'm just going to kind of trim this up some and like i said it doesn't have to be perfect you just want some of these big really thick hunk hard sections pulled off so that it uh doesn't you don't have to pull it out when you're all right guys got most of this brisket trimmed and i just want to kind of show you what i did and you'll be able to tell um this is not remember this is not a competition trimmed brisket if this were a competition trimmed brisket i would be hacking off a lot of the meat a lot more of the fat getting it really pretty um because you know taking more into consideration what it's going to look like at the end instead of how it's going to taste so i did not trim this like a competition brisket so as you can see on this side here this is your flat and I did leave some of that fat in between there I cut a lot of the on this side and this side but there's still I'm gonna leave some of that in the middle there because I want it to render when it's cooking some so sorry flat section here laying right on top of the point do have another I might cut a little bit just a little bit more of that fat out of there but on the back side I left a good quarter inch on the back here um, just because I want that to protect it when I actually throw it in the smoker later. But if you notice, I did trim it up a little bit. What I'm going to do 
is season this up just a little bit with the Running Wild Gourmet Beef Rub. That's what we're going to use on it today. And I'm going to try and not get it all over the place. But I'm not going to put a whole ton of it on. Um, just enough to cover it since we are going to be sous vide it. Don't need to waste a whole ton of the rub on it. It's going to cover it just fine. And then we'll put a little bit more on after it comes out of the bag. So just some, something like that. Just a nice coating. If you use salt, pepper, garlic, that's fine. Just salt and pepper is fine. Use whatever kind of rub you want. I'm just using this gourmet beef rub today. So I want it to be a little special for our guests that are coming over on Thursday. And just to get a nice, even, liberal coat. It's going to be cooking in its own fat and juices anyway. And that's about it. Overnight, I put this in yesterday in the refrigerator, ice bathed it, and put it in the refrigerator. Got about three and a half hours before I want to eat, so um, I did let this come up to room temperature a little bit. It's been sitting out for about 20 minutes. It's still pretty cool. I just fired up my camp chef. I'm putting it on the high smoke uh, function of 220, and I'm going to go ahead and throw this on. I'm going to get it out of the bag and show you how I'm going to put it on. I'll be right back. All right, back. guys. I got it out of the bag. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to apply just a little bit more of the Running Wild Gourmet Beef Rub. Just to give it a kind of coat on here. And it's still pretty stiff because it's been sitting in the refrigerator overnight. But I'm going to cover this generously with this rub. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a drip pan or water pan, however you want to call it, in the camp chef. I'm going to put the brisket on the top shelf, and I'm going to put this on the bottom shelf underneath it. And I did take some of the juice that was in the bag, and I put it in this pan, and I'm going to add some water to that as well. So we'll keep it moist in there with that. And get the back side of this. the non-fat side and it looks and smells good this is not the prettiest thing right now because it's been sous vide and sitting in the refrigerator but a lot of the fat had uh, rendered and was just left in the bag so that's it guys I think I got enough seasoning coated on there I'm gonna add some water to this after I put it on the grill but I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on. All right, all the brisket's been on almost two hours and the internal is right at 110, so it's not even quite back up to where we put it in on the sous vide, so. But look at that color, it's getting nice and dark. I'm going to spritz it some. I spritzed it about three or four times already. Keeping it, uh, getting some smoke painted on. If you take a look at that, get you a closer look. I got some beans cooking. It's looking good. Probably another 30 minutes and I'll be pulling it off. And we'll be eating. Alright guys, we're back and it's done. And I've got some family and friends over for dinner and they're drooling over there 
everybody's ready to taste some of this but it uh, looks wonderful hope you guys can see it let me give you a little close up here so you can see just how great that looks nice bark on there nice color it's only on there for about three hours or so and it's about 135 right now internal temp so it didn't even get back up to the original 155 so I'm gonna take a slice I get the first slice because I'm the cook but I'm gonna have some special guests come up and take a bite too so I got one of the outside sections here oh I'm falling apart in my mouth it's still nice and warm too mm. Wow all right Shane gonna have Shane Scott gonna take the second piece here all right piece of the flat section it's kind of hot mm. Very good. how's it taste Very good. smoky is it hot? It's a little hot. It's good. It's good. Is it nice and tender? Yeah. Yeah? Melt in mm -hmm. your mouth? Mm hmm Real hot? Yeah. <laughs> you need a drink? There's a drink. Good drink, mama. Very good. <laughs> Craig. Uh, come on over. Hit a slice. Ashley, would you like a slice? This is a family event. Come on in. Can I blow on mine? You first? can blow on yours first if you want. There you go. Thank you. You guys got to look at the camera. So. I'm trying to make it so it doesn't burn me. <laughs> Shane was a trooper. He just shoved it in his mouth. Asbestos mouth. Yeah. Well, it's good. It's a tender. It's a juicy. Mm -hmm. Is it smoky? Yes. yes. Can cool. you teach Craig how to do this? Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you got something out of this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. We're going to go eat now. Woo! <laughs>